What's up, cloud gamers? Welcome back to the authoritative cloud gaming channel, the channel that brings you all the latest news and updates from the world of cloud gaming. In today's video, we've got a doozy of a content drop from the team at GeForce Now. Get ready because May is shaping up to be an absolute banger for cloud gaming with 24 games. Yeah, you heard me, 24 games in May. But before we dive into the new releases, I've got to talk about the huge update that makes streaming on Valve's Steam Deck an absolute breeze. Yeah, NVIDIA has implemented a new beta installation method that automatically configures the GeForce Now browser within Steam Deck's gaming mode. No more fiddling around with settings or complicated configurations, just a smooth, streamlined setup process. And that's not all. The latest GeForce Now update also allows you to navigate the service using a gamepad, including on the Steam Deck itself. Can you imagine how convenient that's going to be? This is what cloud gaming on a portable handheld is all about. Kick back, relax, and browse through the massive library of over 1,900 supported games, all from the comfort of your handheld device. And speaking of game libraries, let's talk about the incredible lineup of new titles coming to GeForce Now this month. We're looking at a whopping 24 new games, folks, and seven of those arrive this very week. First up, we've got the highly anticipated arrival of Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice on the service. If you haven't played this award-winning masterpiece from Ninja Theory, now's your chance to experience the exceptional storytelling, stunning visuals, and mind-bending puzzles, all streamed directly to your device, of course. And with ray tracing and HDR support for Ultimate and Priority members, you know this game is going to look absolutely breathtaking. But that's just the beginning this week. We've also got the closed beta for Stormgate, the exciting new RTS from the creators of StarCraft, who else? As well as a slew of other brand new releases like MotoGP24, Foundry and Orcs Must Die. Here's the full list of this week's games, as mentioned earlier, on Steam, Xbox and it's available on PC Game Pass of Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Hack through Viking Hell. Or maybe it's just in her head. A Senua, a warrior haunted by voices and out to save her bow's soul. Brutal battles, beautiful psychosis and a hero unlike any other await. It's a beautiful, stunning looking game that's deeply moving to play. Stormgate Closed Beta is a new release on Steam. You can sign up for access now. Command humans, demons or towering mechs in Stormgate. This is the spiritual successor to RTS legends like StarCraft. Intense matches, a gripping story, and the potential to revive a classic genre await in this closed beta. Grey Zone Warfare is another new release on Steam. Here you join a shadowy private military company on a mysterious island in Grey Zone Warfare. This tactical shooter blends tense PvP with survival elements, forcing you to strategize scavenge and fight for your life. Screaming onto the platform this week also sees MotoGP24. Feel the roar of the engine and the rush of the track as you experience the adrenaline pumping world of professional motorcycle racing with realistic physics, iconic riders and the thrill of the 2024 season. Next up is Foundry. Foundry transforms the world into your ultimate factory playground. Mine resources, build sprawling automated systems and reshape the infinite landscape in this voxel-based crafting and base building extravaganza. Bit of a quirky one now and a bit weird. Indica takes you on a haunting journey through an alternate 19th century Russia as a young nun grappling with visions and her unlikely demonic companion explore a world of religious turmoil and psychological mystery. This looks like a deeply disturbing and extremely artistic looking game. And if it's all getting a bit too heavy for you, Orcs Must Die 3, a brand new release on Epic Games Store. Yeah, it's a hilarious bloody buffet of orc slaying action craft traps, unleash devastating weapons, and wade through a comical apocalypse, all in the glorious name of keeping those pesky orcs out, with single player or two player for that crazy fun. 
Those are the games for this week, but let's not forget about the games coming later in the month, like the highly anticipated The Rogue Prince of Persia, Men of War 2, Honkai Star Rail, and the intriguing Capes, just to name a few. Yep, May is shaping up to be one of the biggest content drops we've seen on GeForce Now in a long time. Whether you're a fan of action-adventure games, real-time strategy, or just enjoy building and creating, there's something for everyone this month. But don't just take my word for it. Here's the full list of new games coming in May. Let me know which ones you're most excited to play in the comments down below. So that's all for now, Cloud Gamers. Thanks for watching. And of course, don't forget to hit the likes as I like it, YouTube likes it, and it helps people like you find amazing content just like this. And if you're new to my channel, then hit that subscribe button, toggle that notification bell, and that way you'll know when I post videos all about cloud gaming and GeForce Now. And I'll see you in the next video where we'll dive even deeper into some of the games coming in May. Until then, happy cloud streaming.